everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a buy it or pass it for you guys, but this is going to be the holiday edition. Um, now the buy it or pass it series that I created was based off the will I buy it series from Samantha March. I will have her page listed down below along with the playlist that she created for all the creators that make this type of video. Um, so I will have both of those linked down below. So make sure you guys go and check that out. But there are just so many things to go ahead and talk about. So I did try and keep this in order as far as brands go. Um, all the releases from Tarte, all the releases from Too Faced. So I really tried to um, make sure that those were together for you guys and it's not just jumbled up all over the place. Before we go ahead and get started, number one, I want to say I'm sorry for my liner. Um, I have been practicing wing liner and it just completely got out of hand. <laughs> So I just decided to rock with it in this video and you know, it is what it is. Um, the second thing before we get started is if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that big red button before you go. I normally upload videos every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and I'll have those listed down below for you guys as well. Let's go ahead and start with the brand Tarte. They release a lot during the holiday seasons and one of the first things that I have seen from them is it has been the Blush Book 6. I think the packaging is so freaking cute. I mean, it's not really holiday, um, but it is cute. It's kind of like this back to school little notebook. It's definitely different from the big circle books that they have been doing, which I appreciate. I did buy the one from last year and it was just so big and there's no way you would be able to store it in its regular packaging. So I did take out all the blushes and I put them in a Z palette. I would say I don't reach for them as much as I would like to. Um, I probably need to do that. However, those are really summer colors that, that they released last year. It wasn't really like fall and winter colors. So I'm going to have to work towards that. Um, now, the colors in this book are so pretty. I can tell that it is kind of different from last year. Like I said, last year was definitely more of summer color vibes. Um, I know the blush sizes are smaller than last year, but like I said, I mean, I have a whole bunch of blushes, so that's not really a big deal for me. So in this palette, you do get eight blushes, one bronzer, and a highlight. Um, and it does retail for $44. I'm still iffy about this one. I'm not necessarily looking for a blush book, because I do have so many blushes, but um, if this is still available, or maybe it comes to Sephora or Ulta, and they have their VIB sale, then I would totally get this. Otherwise, I think I'm going to pass it for now. This right here is the Tarte Pineapple Palette. Now, when I first saw this, my first thought was pineapples for Christmas? I don't get it. Um, it's It doesn't ring a bell for Christmas for me at all. And then I saw one of my YouTubers that I watched, she actually purchased this and said that it had to do with like a tropical Christmas, tropical paradise. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I, I kind of get that. But me personally, that is not what I would go for that doesn't when I'm looking for holiday makeup I want to feel that Christmas vibe I want that beautiful packaging and it doesn't have to have like you know Christmas packaging but it has to be pretty at least that's what I look for and this is not um first of all the packaging looks like it makes it very hard to store it doesn't really have a, like a flat bottom uh, so it would tilt whichever way you would have to definitely have this like in a bookshelf type of um, storage. The colors, there are colors that we have seen plenty of times before with Tarte. I mean, you have that pop of blue and pop of purple and then everything else just kind of eh. Um, the blushes look really nice. I'm sure the bronzer is really nice. The mirror, there is no use for this mirror. Um, I, that's one thing that always irritates me about certain packaging. If it, if the mirror is useless, then why even put it in there? Um, and this <laughs> runs for $59. So this whole thing is absolutely a no-go for me. I do not like the packaging. I don't like the color selection. It's everything I already have. Um, and the mirror is just, <laughs> it's, in, it's in a terrible spot. Um, I don't see me holding up this packaging and trying to, I don't know, trying to get in that mirror. So we're definitely going to pass on this. Um, now, they do have a whole bunch of other stuff. We all know that Tarte goes crazy um, with the releases. Okay, so they have the Sweet Escape Collector set for $49. Once again, it's kind of like the same exact colors. Um, you get the bronzers and the blush, and then it comes like with a, 
what, a, ma a mascara, probably a lippy. I don't know. I can't really tell. The picture is kind of small. Um, but once again, this packaging is really bulky. Usually it's like in this square packaging. I used to have it, but I passed it on. Um, and it was just so bulky. I had to get rid of it. This is more of an octagon shape, but it's still very thick. So it is not good to store. They have Let's Flamingo brush set, which just... I love brushes, but it's, I love Tarte's brushes, but this doesn't interest me at all. They have another blush palette. It is the Life of the Party Clay Blush Palette and Clutch. So this is actually not supposed to be just a blush palette, but it's also supposed to be a clutch. I believe it has like inserts for your credit cards or whatever. Um, no. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not going to get that because, number one, I don't think there's a divider in between. So all that blush and everything is going to get all over your stuff. That is just ridiculous. Um, and they have Flawless Foursome to Sculptor set. Uh, they have some more Z palettes. They have some lippy sets. And it looks like they have their little mini um, four-pack of blushes. So, I mean, you know, it's just... Everything that Tarte has came out with for this holiday, holiday collection has just been a letdown for me. I'm not interested in any of it, which kind of makes my heart sad, but my, makes my wallet very, very happy. So I am happy to say I will be passing on this whole entire collection. The only thing I will even consider is that first blush book, but everything else that I have seen so far in this video is a pass. So Real Techniques is actually coming out with two brush sets. I love Real Technique brushes. I think they're really, really nice. I actually have the two that I used right here to kind of create my crazy wing. Um, I have my Real Techniques bronzer brush that I love and just a couple other different ones that I can't get to at the moment. Um, but I think these are fabulous sets. You have the You Glow Girl set for $50. The Keep Calm and Marry On set for $29.99. It looks like both sets include a sponge. Uh, it looks like the Marry On set includes two sponges and the Glow Girl set includes a sponge and looks like a holder. I can't really tell. Either one I think is going to be a fantastic set, especially for if you want to get it as a gift or maybe you don't have any brushes and you're looking into getting a set. I highly recommend these. I love Real Technique brushes, so these are definitely great to purchase however i do have a lot of brushes at the moment um, and this is not something that i need so i'm going to be passing on these personally Too Faced has a lot that they are coming out with as well oh boy hold on to your seats so we have the under the christmas tree um, this comes with two eyeshadow palettes and a blush palette and a mini mascara for $49. Oops, sorry. I think the packaging is super, super, super cute on this. Um, you do get three different palettes. I think it would actually make an excellent gift. Uh, they have the, oh my gosh, they have a year of great sex set. <laughs> wow. A year of great sex set that includes five full size better than sex mascara for $69. Boy, let me tell you what. I mean, I love some Better Than Sex mascara, but I don't need a set of five mascaras all at once. That just seems a little excessive. Um, I like the packaging. I think it's really cute. It comes in like this little container that kind of rolls out and you see all the mascaras lined up. I think that's cute. But like I said, that's just a little excessive for me. The two mini palettes that they have come out with, the first one is the Sugar Cookie Palette, and the second one is the Tickled Peach, the Tickled Peach Palette, and these are both $26. I think these are really smart. I think that the packaging is super, super cute. Um, the shades that they chose for these two palettes are really, really pretty. I think they would make excellent gifts, and I actually do think I am going to be purchasing these up as gifts for my family. And then we have the Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Boy, this caught my eye real fast. <laughs> First of all, the packaging is so cute. I love it. I actually have their gingerbread liquid lipstick from last year and I really enjoy this. This is a beautiful color um, and it just reminded me of this all over again but in an eyeshadow palette so I'm, I'm interested in that. Um, and it is for $49. So I think I might pick that one up. They have a liquid lipstick set. So this is their Sweet Smell of Christmas. This is a $25 kit. You get four mini lipsticks. 
Um, you get cinnamon bear, which is a red. You get pumpkin spice, which is a terracotta nude. You get a hot buttered rum, which is a nude, and a sugar cookie, which is a nude pink. I think this set is really nice. I think the color selections that they chose for this set are really smart. And let's face it, the packaging on this is super cute. So I think I'm going to buy it. So up next is the Big Dream Queen set. Now I think this set is actually at Sephora. You get the huge eyeshadow palette, which is 24 eyeshadows with four face products, um, which looks like two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. You also get a Better Than Sex mascara, a mini mascara. Um, you get a lip gloss and a travel size hangover spray. Um, you also get a really, really cute makeup bag. Um, now this does retail for 50, yeah, for 50 eight dollars now I do have the ones from last year that I have touched maybe one time so I'm going to be a little bit smarter about this and I'm saying I'm going to pass it this definitely is something I already have in my collection this reminds me of the colors that I received last year um, so there is just nothing that wants me to buy this the packaging of course is super cute um, but everything else is a pass all right, so Hourglass is coming up with a new ambient light palette. I think it is super, super pretty. They're going to donate 5% uh, to Non-Human Rights Project, which I think is amazing. Um, I will say that everybody keeps saying that they're coming out with two palettes, and I don't think they are. Um, I know they did show one earlier, like maybe a month ago, saying that this was the new palette for the Christmas time. But ever since then, I haven't seen that other palette. And I know people were complaining that it looked like the same exact palette. So maybe they were just showing the same exact palette from last year. Like, oh, the new one's coming. I, I, I don't really know. And I can't confirm that they will be releasing two palettes or not. However, if they were releasing that, uh, that first one that was shown, I would get that one. Because that one is definitely more for my skin tone. I'm sorry if you hear my dog did miss out on the one last year which kind of breaks my heart um so if they did release that I will I will be purchasing it however on this one I am going to have to pass it I think it is gorgeous I think the color selection is very very nice it is geared more towards in my opinion um, medium and darker skin tones which I think is absolutely fabulous um, but since it is not for my skin tone I will not be purchasing it Becca, as I know it, has two releases. The first one, um, I actually had put a poll up on Twitter to see if you guys wanted a review on. But the more I thought about it, the more I decided that I am just going to pass on this. <laughs> um, I do have the very first eyeshadow palette that they did um, about, what, two Christmases ago? This is the, I don't want to blind you guys. This is the eyeshadow palette that they came out with. Um, the packaging was really, really pretty on the outside, but it was just kind of like a waste of space on the inside. Um, and the shadows just didn't really work as shadows. It's more of like mini highlights using as shadows. <laughs> um, this was just, I don't know, it's definitely not the best palette on the market. Um, but I got that at a discount, so I guess it made it a little bit better. Now that they came out with a second one that looked like this, um, that one I did here was a little bit better. People were a little bit more happy with that one. Um, however, I did not pick that one up. Now this is the art third eyeshadow palette that I know of. Um, and this is the Becca Volcano Goddess eyeshadow palette. It comes with 12 eyeshadows and with three finishes, you get ultra matte, shimmer, and multi-metallic. Uh, this is supposed to be special formulated and energized with a natural mineral crystal, black tourmaline, a powerful protection, and grounding stone formed in volcanoes. So supposedly they went to a volcano, um, picked up, well, I guess they didn't go to a volcano. So supposedly the stones that are mixed in with the eyeshadows are supposed to be coming from volcanoes, which I mean, yeah, it's kind of cool. But that's not something that I'm going to be like, oh, I am looking for an eyeshadow that has volcano stones from it in it no <laughs> that's not that's not what it looked for um if you take that blue away it just it doesn't do it for me it doesn't do it for me it looks like there's three mattes and the rest are all shimmers the more i look at this the more disappointed i feel i think that they could have done so much more especially because the packaging is beautiful oh my gosh i mean the packaging when i saw it i was just like God, this is it. This is the one. This is going to be awesome. And it wasn't. <laughs> so, um, 
I'm going to be passing on this. Now Becca is coming out with a Glow Macaron collection. Uh, this is $40. You get a four mini highlighters in this set. You get the color Opal, Vanilla Quartz, Rose Quartz, and Pris Prismatic Amethyst. I love the color Prismatic Am Amethyst. I actually don't have any of the other colors. Um, so I am looking to actually buy this. I think it is a great deal. Um, like I said, they're all minis. I don't go through a full highlight anyway. These are all colors that I'm interested in and I can always use a backup of the amethyst color because it is just gorgeous. Um, so I definitely say I'm going to be buying this and if you are looking at this for a gift, I'm going to be doing a Christmas gift guide for you guys, but that will probably come sometime in November. So Beauty Blender is coming out with two different sets. Uh, the first one is the, where is it? The Sweet Indulgence Set, which includes four beauty blenders and four solid soaps. I don't know why when I first looked at this, I didn't even think those were little soaps. I was like, are those little round sponges? But they're soaps. So you get four beauty blenders and four soaps. The price of this is going to be for $65. The beauty blenders alone would be $80, so you're already getting a discount. Um, and then on top of that, you get the mini solid cleaners. So I do think this is a good deal if you are interested in beauty blenders. Their second set is called the Blenders Delight. Um, it has two beauty blenders, uh, two solid cleansers, and a beauty blender case. This one is going to be retailed for $40. I did just get a beauty blender in my FabFitFun box. Um, I have tried it. I really did like it. I kind of see what people were raving about. Um, so... I just don't think I need any sponges right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to pass on it. I'm going to pass on it. Yes. Yes. I don't need it. I have, I have enough blenders. So passing. Urban Decay has a lot of releases as well. Um, the first one that we all know about is their Elements Eyeshadow Palette. That is $52. Um, the Travel Size Elements Space Powder for $17. The Starfire Heaven, Heavy Metals Glitter Liner Trio um, for $39. If All Nighter Setting Spray is your deal, they have a two-pack, a All Nighter full-size duo for $39. Now that's supposed to be a $64 value. So if you are interested in All Nighter Sprays, I might want to look into that. I think this whole entire collection I'm going to be passing on um, the eyeshadow palette, let me just say, this packaging is probably one of the best Christmas packaging I have seen so far released. Now, it looks like Christmas ornaments, and the packaging is just so gorgeous. But when you open this up, you do only get like three or four mattes. Everything else is shimmers, and it just kind of reminds me of the eyeshadow palette from last year. Now the eyeshadow palette from last year didn't have any mattes, but these all seem like kind of the similar shades. All right, so for this whole entire collection, um, I am interested in that eyeliner set. I think I will be buying that. I'm still on the fence. I kind of want to see it in person. But as for everything else, I can happily say once again that I am going to be passing on this collection. All right, so Kat Von D for holiday 2018 is coming out with, I guess, her fetish, col fetish collection. I'm not interested in anything. We're just going to keep this one really short and sweet. If you look at this eyeshadow palette, number one, I don't like the packaging. Number two, I don't like the colors. Nothing in here is getting me excited. It looks really just kind of boring to me. I'm going to be passing over everything that has to do with this collection. All right, so one of the last things we're going to talk about is the new Marc Jacobs holiday sets. The first item is the On The Dot 3-Piece Limmark Liquid Lip Crayon. Um, this is supposed to be for $25. I love his lip crayons. I think they're super nice on the lips. Um, he also has the Enam Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer. Um, this is a glitzy gold shade for $28. Oh, so excited about that one. Um, <laughs> he has, let's see what else, the Anything Goes set for $19, which is a uh, Velvet Newer Mascara and the Lip Crim and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I actually have that shade. I think it's very pretty. Six of the Glam Glitter Eyeshadows for $28 a piece. The Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer for $49. Um, I believe there is a brush that's like really expensive. Face and body brush for $59. Okay, so 
we're gonna have to break this one down so the lip crayons i think are super super nice i'm not really sure if i like the shade selection in this kit um, i just don't know if it would be for me so i want to say i'm a pass on that um the kiss kiss bang bang and the mascara i really don't need that i have a i have a mark jacobs mascara and i have the kiss kiss bang bang so i'll be passing on that um the foil luminator bronzer i'm going to be passing on that i do have my lovely fantastic bronzer which i love so much i actually have this on my face today oh love it so i still have plenty of product and i actually <laughs> have it back up so that is going to be a no the brush is crazy expensive that is a pass it as well the high shine gold lip gloss i am so interested in this i have been looking for a gold shiny lip gloss um for my christmas look that i will be doing so this might be it i think i'm gonna buy this as far as the little single eyeshadow goes um i'm gonna be passing on all of these single eyeshadows are not really my thing and they are very pricey so um yes to the lip gloss no to everything else all right guys we're gonna have to wrap this up right here i know there are just so many more holiday releases i definitely don't want to keep you guys for too long so there will be a part two coming uh within the next week or two but that is going to be it for this buy it or pass it holiday edition if you did like this video please give it a big old thumbs up for me um and i will see you on my next video bye